So the lockdown in Mabula has finally been lifted. And today I'm out with the Fujifilm X-T4. And we're gonna do a little test. All right guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Donnell, AKA Ben Wonderful, and I'm a camera and tech enthusiast. And on this channel, you can find a bunch of different types of video, range from vlogs to reviews to tests, including today's video, which is basically gonna be a test of the Fujifilm X-T4. And in today's video, what I'm gonna be testing out is the IBIS. So one thing I can tell you guys about my test when using this Fujifilm X-T4 is that I wasn't trying to walk stable. I was trying to just walk as normal as possible. Sometimes I use one hand, sometimes I use two hands. You guys gonna see a kind of a gist of exactly how I was using this. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna let the footage speak for itself. All right, so this is a test of the stabilization. Walk over real quick. Just wanna see how stable it is. Oh yeah, don't make fun of my fanny pack because everybody knows that real men wear fanny packs. All right, here's the test of the stabilization with the digital stabilization turned on also. You can walk normal. All right, so I'm following my friend Rima right now. We walk on at a normal, normal rate. Just trying to see how the stabilization looks. So hopefully the autofocus is working pretty good. It's uh, it's been a little iffy. I'm gonna definitely do a video about that if I haven't already. But yeah, so you guys, what do you guys think? So I'm out here vlogging on the Note 10. I got the Fujifilm X-T4. I'm out here doing a couple of tests of the stabilization. You guys will see that and let me know what you guys think of the results. And I'll get back to you when I get back in the studio and check it out. So I'll see you in a little bit. This is not an ideal lens for testing out the Fujifilm X-T4, but I did want to show you guys in a vlogging way how it might look if you were walking and talking with this it's hot boy. If you're walking and talking with this camera and kind of seeing how the stabilization looks. I don't have a tripod, I don't have a gorilla pod, I don't have anything like that. I'm just holding it handheld. So what do you guys think? So while I was editing this video, I got the idea that some people might be interested in seeing with the stabilization in the lens combined with the stabilization in the camera, see if that helps. Because some of the footage so far that I've seen is a little rocky. I mean, I think it's mostly because of that digital IBIS. And like I said, we was not trying to make it look sweet. So I got the 10 to 24. So I'm also gonna take it outside and do some panning. I figure some people might wanna see what that looks like also. And also, I'm gonna redo the vlogging part and kinda of show you guys what it looked like with the wide angle lens. So let's check that out real quick. So there's a few things I did notice when I was editing that video. Well, was one, that uh, for the ND filter, I had the bands a little, it was banding a little bit. So bear with me on that one. And also, I didn't get any good video of me panning cause I figured somebody's gonna ask and they're gonna wanna know how that looks. So, first, I'm gonna do the vlog thing. I actually have a tripod this time so you guys can see how the vlogging might look on this right here, just walking with it. So, you see if it's stable. Just walking normal. I think it's a lot better with the, uh, first of all, I got a wide angle lens. And then two, having a tripod. I think that helps a lot. Whew. Okay, let's look at this panning real quick and then let's wrap this thing up. All right, now that we got that done, let's get back to the video. 
Okay, so the sun is finally behind the clouds. Oh, let's get that out of the shot. And he's doing that walking thing again. Feels a lot better though, at least. All right, guys, so I just got back from this walk. I tested out the Fuji X-T Force image stabilization. I haven't seen it yet, but you guys have. So let me know what you guys think about the image stabilization in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.